What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas. This is the 18,000 milliamp hour Power Pack Plus by HP. This is the perfect tool for powering a ton of your devices while you're on the go. It has huge capacity and utility for the on the go enthusiast and professionals that need to power their electronics while they're on the move. To put into perspective how huge of an actual power availability you have when using HP's Power Pack Plus, the iPad Air 2 has around a 7,340 milliamp hour battery. I was able to charge that thing up twice with still enough juice to charge my wife's iPhone twice. So that's two full charges on each of those devices. That was huge for me. I didn't have to even look for a wall charger when it came to that. My overall experience of HP PowerPack Plus is very positive as it is built very well and definitely made for traveling. Cable management has been made easier than ever because the power pack has a pouch that is perfect for on the go individuals, making this portable charging station a great companion to anyone needing extra power while they're out in the woods or wherever you go with your portable power station. Not only does it have storage for cables that come with the device, there are a couple of pouches that make it an awesome travel kit as well. As I was able to store some camera tools within the actual compartments. So, you know, Allen keys and whatnot were easily accessible when it came to using this on the go when I was shooting. Because I also used the HP Power Pack Plus to power my Sony A7R2. And um, it was a fantastic uh, addition to my shooting setup. It's durable design, integrated storage for cables and miscellaneous tools, and the HP AC adapter capability make it one of the most impressive powering tools I've used to date. To me, this thing's a no-brainer for the devices that I have. Now, if you own an HP notebook, this thing is a no-brainer for when it comes to purchasing it because it actually ties to powering your notebook when you need it. And it has enough power or enough oomph in it to get the job done. And I absolutely recommend it to those individuals that have invested in HP's in environment. But even with that, I would recommend it to anybody as well because it has been an awesome addition to my workflow. Now you don't even have to own an HP notebook because Apple's new MacBook with the USB Type-C port, um, this thing, you just get a USB Type-C cable and you can charge it uh, on the go as well because HP PowerPack Plus has a USB Type-C port in it. And the good thing about that port is that it uh, pumps out juice like no other. So it's a five a volt, uh, three amp, port and you will get some juice going through that thing. HP's PowerPack Plus runs between $140 and $180 USD. If you're interested in pricing and availability, uh, feel free to hit the link down in the description of the video. Now getting back to the ability of this uh, unique and neat little power station, I was able to charge my iPad Air 2, LG G4, and my wife's iPhone 6 multiple times without fail. And a little bit more detail to that, I was able to charge the iPad Air 2 once, my LG G4 twice, and my wife's iPhone 6 twice. That's huge capability. And that's to say that they were nearly zero before I plugged them into the, the HP PowerPack Plus. Not only was I able to let the charge run, um, they all charge at a pretty decent uh, rate too. Now that's all dependent on the port you use with the PowerPack. If you're running power through the one amp port, expect a delayed charge time. But running things through the 2.1 amp and the three amp ports charge devices almost as if you were charging them at home. Now along those lines, it gets kind of tricky when you're charging multiple devices as you'll have to play musical chairs with what device is most important to you and which one you'll need to charge the quickest. That's probably the only bad thing I have to say about this power pack is that not all of the ports on it are created equal. So you'll have to choose which port um, and which device is most important to you and which device you want to have charged first. 
uh, because charging things through the One App will uh, take a little bit to get your device charged up. Before I close this video out, I wanted to make you aware that HP has built in some protection in this uh, power bank as well, because there's so much power within it, you would want to make sure that your devices are being protected if you're using it to charge them. Now, the built-in overheating protection allow you to make sure that the power pack is uh, never going to overheat and cause damage to your device or uh, your devices. So and when I say device, I mean the actual power pack itself. It has protection against overheating. In addition to that, it has protection to overcharging and undercharging. So you, if your device becomes full and you forget to unplug it from the power pack, don't worry, it's not gonna keep pumping power into your device, potentially causing damage because the HP Power Pack Plus has protection against that. So it will stop when your device is at 100%. And along those lines as well, it has protection against undercharging devices. So I don't know if any of you have had to experience using uh, cheaper power packs, but sometimes they don't charge devices fully because of some circuitry issues. Um, and that can also potentially cause damage to your devices. This has protection against that. So it's not going to cause those uh, issues and you don't ever have to worry about it. I'm absolutely confident in its capability of charging my devices safely and accurately. None of my devices ever become hot to the touch during or after charging, nor did any of them never get a full charge when connected to this neat little power pack by HP. Before you click away, I wanna say HP was kind enough to send this out to me for review. That about does it for me in this one, everybody. If you liked it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments section down below what it is that I can do to improve. In addition to that, feel free to check out my channel and some of the past works that I've done. If you like what you've seen here and what you've seen on my channel and you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Take care.